So this is a track I'm going to be using. It's off an 800 Renegade. And so basically, we're just going to deflate the tires, cut it to size so that it fits on the tire deflated. And then we're basically just going to bolt the track back together because it'll be cut. And then inflate the tire and it should hold the track on there pretty sturdy. So this is basically what it's going to look like. It's not actually on there yet, it's just sitting like that. And then, yeah, we just got to put the lug nuts on. She should be mint. Seems to not have enough power, but a bigger sprocket will help. So yesterday we took this thing out for a test drive and it did all right until it lost momentum and then it would just bog out basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bigger chain and this bigger sprocket and we're gonna take off that one, cut it so it fits on the inside of this one and then we're basically just gonna weld it and then bolt it back on. Throw a chain link on this chain, hopefully it fits. We're not too sure about that yet, but if it does, it we're hoping that it's gonna have more torque to turn over the tracks a little easier and be a little more fun in the snow because it's it's not the best when you're going through snow and then it just bogs down and stops and you have to push it out but let the tire off stop it off and got the chain off this is the one we're going to be using it's quite rusty but this thing isn't exactly beautiful so it should work looks like it should be long enough yeah so then we're just gonna cut this to fit inside there weld there and then that. So what we ended up doing is just welding the smaller sprocket straight onto the larger one and then we basically just we found a different chain because the other one didn't quite fit and basically we just have to throw on the track again and then should be able to pop through snow a little better. So we got the tires back on as you can see I already took it out for a bit of a rip but I'll start her up here. It doesn't have electric start right now. So you just have to do the good old push start. It's very easy starting.
So I think it's safe to say that that bigger rock could help a lot. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.